most stolz. Thank you very much. The next speaker is Mr. Statler. One minute. Thank you. Uh, one of the most corrupt countries in the EU is Greece. Uh, Bulgaria and Romania too, Italy, Slovakia and Portugal and Spain. In other words, the very countries that they were for decades, we've been sending uh, billions of euros without any proper inspection, without anything improving in any way, no more transparency in the administration, no, um, uh, f uh, nothing done about unemployment, nothing done to prosecute the people responsible for the fraud. So it's the, that's the, we're just creating the perfect uh, conditions for corruption, for uh, kickbacks, uh, for tax evasion, for um, white collar crime, for um, organised crime. You know, why are we now feeling optimistic that the whole crisis is going to be solved because of this, by tougher re laws? It's not just about tougher laws. It's not just about better inspection. It's it's only. The only way to do it is not to give them any money without having some proof of it been, having been put to the right purpose. That's the only way. Thank you. There is a wish for a blue card. Are you ready to vote for, to, to answer? Muito obrigado, Sr. Presidente. Sr. Stadler, eu gostaria de saber em que é que o Sr. se baseia. Yes, Mr. Statler, I'd like to know what exactly you're basing this on when you make the accusations that you've made. How can you say that in uh, Portugal we have corruption and that we do absolutely nothing to tackle that? You come from a country where... A, an MEP uh, was sentenced to four years, an ex MEP was sentenced to four years in prison uh, for corruption. So I think we need to fight corruption everywhere. But please uh, be careful uh, if you uh, make this hypothesis uh, as an MEP. We all have the same uh, dignity. So I cannot accept this type of accusation that points the fingers at certain countries and makes generalizations. If there are cases in Portugal, well, this type of uh, xenophobia is just unacceptable. The blue card is half minute. Yeah, Please answer. Uh, I said that on the basis of the Transparency Index, Portugal at the moment is one is 12th for the um, in the list of EU member states. And let me say quite clearly that uh, I, you know, if uh, if if you'd never be able to combat corruption if you won't do anything in the countries I mentioned and you don't take people to court for corruption, and I will continue uh, to state that they come from Greece or Portugal or Spain or wherever they come from, and Greece is the worst case at the moment. There is another wish for another blue card. Okay. Lund, Madam Lunacek. Well, Mr. Stadler, I have to uh, agree with what Mr. Tavares has said. In Austria, we have massive corruption cases. And a member of your political party, perhaps he's left your party, Mr. Schorch, uh, was recently uh, condemned as well because it was proven that he wanted to give uh, a Russian uh, citizen, uh, Austrian citizenship uh, and uh, for uh, various reasons. There's all kinds of corruption in our country. It's not just about countries like Portugal. Uh, uh, we need to fight corruption in Austria as well. QED. I'm glad you've uh, brought that up. We're not going to change people. Wherever there's money uh, available, there's always going to be corruption. We've simply got to do something about it, fight it. And if we take people to court, uh, it works. And uh, we have to take more prominent people to court, and then it will continue. Uh, it's not a question of which party they belong to. Thank you very Mr. Papanikola, you have the floor. Yes, thank you, uh, Mr. President. Because Greece has been mentioned and because I come from Greece, you know, uh, colleagues, uh, that we accept references to indicators that are made by our colleague, but still you should be aware that in the last few months in uh, Greece, 
very rapidly we have launched investigations and several people have ended up in prison and some of these people were very well known public figures, political figures in Greece. So I think it's important to acknowledge that the Greek justice system and the Greek government have made considerable efforts and this in the time of a crisis. Well, but the fact is that still Greece is at the top of the list for this. It's a fa fact. I haven't said anything that's not true. If uh, Greece does uh, prosecute those guilty of fraud and tax evasion, or avoid uh, evasion, fine, and then we'll see a change in the index. But for now, you know, don't shoot the messenger. Um, if Greece takes this seriously and really attacks it effectively, then things will change.